senses. It is what we like to call rat bats. And we call it, you want fix the helmet, people? It is called, many principles call the rat bat because of the facial features, right? But interestingly, science does the same thing. This is what we call the Jamaican leaf nose fruit bat. Fruit bat? That needs to be tightened, sir. Yes, the fruit bat. A dentif your nest berry. A dentif your guava. A dentif your arm. Yes, just down here, sir. See? I'm going to show her something. Because the way you know what it says, I'm showing her. This is the Caribbean almond. Because I'm, I'm being specific, because you have almonds, North American almonds, European almonds that are different than this, right? So this is the Caribbean almond. You crack the shell, and the nut is in it. All right? Now, a bat has a feeding range of more than 30 miles. In that radius, almost a quarter of all the seeds is done by them. This is important for you to know because seed distribution is one of the major factors behind reforestation. So the more bats we have, the bigger the forest. Amen. Again, looking up at the bats is not a problem. But I'm going to ask you though, please do not look up with your mouth open. All right? <laughs> 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 In 2003, we did a comprehensive mapping of the cave. This measurement taught us that this cave is no less than 10 square miles, making this one of the largest caves on the island. It is by far the most popular. The case popularity is based on a number of factors, most important of which is the case history. For almost every group that would have dominated Jamaica, many have found reasons to utilize these caves. Hey, Winji! Winji! Um, tell me something. Let me see what you want to say to Winji. Winji, have you ever had a Imaginary friend. No. Seriously? No. I'm an adult and I still have imaginary friends. No, sir, I don't know about that. Matter of fact, there are two of them right here now. <laughs> Carl and Randy. Hi, Carl and Randy. No, 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 no. Actually, Randy is that's here. That's Randy like the rhinoceros. That sounds like a spirit. Oh. Uh, uh, see, see, she's seen Randy as well, so I'm not going crazy. You can see the horn of Randy, the nose, the very big mouth, and the eye. So where's Carl? Carl is the coyote that is over here. Or is it Fred the fish? Oh, so when you put the See, it's all based on your perception, oh, all right? Yeah, when you put your light under the shadow, yeah, sure. so, Let's continue, everyone. Oh. Basically, ladies and gentlemen, as you go through the cave of the cave photos, you will be seeing various features like that. As we walk along the tour path, look all around. And by looking all around, you will see passages leading off. Where do they go? Some are dead ends. Others can allow you to go back on the, 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 the pathway if you should go off. But then there are some that may go up to a mile off the beaten track. The caves were never created by man nor his machine. The caves were formed as a result of carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is really rainfall that has absorbed carbon dioxide from the air. A weak acid, but strong enough to break down the rock. A gentleman asked earlier about mold. I can't say for sure 
what type of mode he's making reference to. But what I can assure you is that limestone allows for algae, moss to be formed. One and two, the green is also as a result that limestone can take. It is perfect. Limestone allows for copper to oxidize. You know, chemistry as well? Nothing. It gives okay. you a green color. Okay, yes. Now, for those who have watched movies and stuff like that, and they see um, the Statue of Liberty looking green, yeah. it's not because it's painted green. Um, the, the Statue of Liberty is made from copper sheetings. So, being exposed to the elements, it has oxidized by turning green. Elsa and Anna, when iron oxidized, when, what does it turn into? They're in grade five. They don't do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> When I'm going at grade five or what them see it already. Nope. When iron oxidize, it turns rust. to rust. Okay. Alright? Okay. Let's continue. Bend We're looking at an area that is not Actually escaped from the English in the year 1658. And where did he escape Because of him doing so. That is one of the main reasons why this section of the Green Grotto is known today as the Runaway Cave. And oh. thus, in part, came the name of the nearby town, Runaway Bay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, other reason has to do with slaves, but more on that later. Remember what that man had just asked? Where did the Spanish governor run away to? Mm -hmm. It is said he was able to make his way down to the ocean. And from there, he was able to get a boat which took him to Cuba. That's what they say. But being grade 5 students, it is time for you to put that theory to the test. Let her go. I'm going to hand the flashlight to you girls. <laughs> and I'm then going to allow you girls, two adventurous five fifth graders, girls who said they want to stay home and watch cartoon. They want to know more about one of Jamaica's um, vibrant cave attractions. So why should I limit these two brilliant minds <laughs> to just boring talk? Mm -mm. I'm going to allow these two grade five students to make their way down into that area and they, not me, will tell the group what they can see. Now girls, just remember, don't step on nothing that you need. You see something coming out? You see something coming toward you? Don't run. Don't run back away slowly. Now I could have sent the 18 year old. We know 18 year old them they love scream, scream for everything. So I'm gonna send you two down there. Oh, um, for the record, their parents have other children, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, come, we can see. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
No, a pep or GSAC? Pep. You'll be doing pep, right? Pep? No, doing pep. Let me ask you this question. Question. What percentage of Jamaica is limestone and what is limestone? That's the question that you find a lot or something similar to it on pep examination for social studies. Remember me tell you that. Anyway, more than 70% of Jamaica consists of the sedimentary rock limestone. Get this, limestone is a rock that was formed from the buildup of sand, silt, and the fossilized remains of, of dead marine animals. plants and animals. Mm -hmm. Once we're talking about marine <laughs> organisms, we're talking about creatures from below the surface of the sea. Now many Jamaicans call this rock as they see it. We call it honeycomb rocks because there are many holes in it. Yeah, but in reality, it is dead coral. Mm -hmm. This man can find the upper bush. Oh, really? But should you go snorkeling, scuba diving, or glass bottom boating anywhere around the world, so the you're going to find this beneath the surface of the sea. Mm -hmm. Now, this may puzzle my lovely friend here because, again, she's not from Jamaica. She may ask the question, so why is it all the way here? Did the, did the water mysteriously dry up? No. There's evidence on the south coast there's evidence on the south coast that because of volcanic activity brought on by plate tectonics that was what uplifted not just this area but the entire island out of the ocean. Mm. Did you watch the movie Ice Age, Continental Drift? Nope. If you watch it, that is where you find that the continents were being split apart. But whilst the continents were being split apart, Jamaica was being pushed up by that very same volcanic activity. Now, what evidence do we have to substantiate that claim? Because I spoke about None. that. On the south coast, notice the difference, if you know anywhere about the south coast. On the south coast of Jamaica, do you know what we have? Black sands. Yeah. Big up yourself, Treasure Beach. Black River. Why is the sand down there black? The sand down there is black because of a different rock type. It is of a the igneous type. Mm -hmm. What are igneous rocks? Rocks formed by volcanic, volcanic origin. No, we do not have any mountains with lava flowing down the side. But we have Bath in St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. We have Milk River in Clarendon. And we have Rock Fort in Kingston. You know yeah. what those areas are? Those are areas that we have actually have. Huh? St. Anne's have a hot water thing in. That water is not hot no, unless you fire, light it. The fire water, you talking? The okay. fire water is not hot unless you light it. Allow me to tell? Ah, true. No. Good. True. So it is totally different. <laughs> yes, naturally hot water. Because that water is being heated by exposed volcanic rocks. The hot fire water is, becomes hot when you light it because that has gases in it. That's a totally different song. Okay. Right? Falabaka. Falabaka. Yes, Baka. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I wonder if we can get that, that tea up a minute. A better <laughs> So, Mr. Togai, yeah. in this case, the water table is 40 feet below us, right? Mr. Togai, if you see, you cannot get it. Mr. Togai, yes, yes, sir. While, while we cut off and come out and open it back, while we can the same way down the first TV area. We're talking about it. Um, we'll come back out and open one. Okay, no, no, no. You see, you, as I said, you know, the cave is a labyrinth, you know, so we always have passages sure, going off sure, in different sure. directions. Sure, sure, sure. But okay. there's no connection with that cave to this one. Okay. So you definitely have to come out. In this particular area now, this is the area that other persons will remember because this is the area that we have water below us. And this is where my fellow Jamaicans that runaway slaves trying to get to freedom would be using as a hideout. But easier said than done because when so they were here. Hmm? Yeah. No, no, Kojo, Kwashi. Kojo, exactly. <laughs> because Kojo Major. was not from here, but Kojo was in St. Elizabeth. So he more than likely would have been the one or ones to have made this. Oh, Sir, did they ask permission? Big man. You know what? Dope is sure. You know, so when, when, when the people them leave off of the era and go, all right, you know what happened? You know, so nothing. Listen, that is the reason why, you know what? Dope is sure the black man died last. You know, so a big chance, yes. All right? The black man will take chances. Him stick with the group. Thank you. Yeah, this is the 65. So, how are you going to tell me how much feet down on the ground? My feet on the ground. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Come back with this <laughs> one grab you. I'm going to go to the no, I don't know. 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 No, I No swimming? There was a time when you come here, because one of the things I liked was when Winge said, this nice man. You know why? 
because she was seeing the water crystal because she was seeing the beauty of the lake and that's what we want that these youngsters can have something to look at but in the 1990s coming up the water was dark dirty and smelly because of the swimming Mm -mm. Uh, Moreover, you know, in the summer of 1995, a little girl from Barracks Road Primary drowned mm -mm. because the boat she was on turned over because we had a power cut. Is that yes? We have, yes, we have said one life lost is simply one life too, too many. many. Mm -hmm. Now, under normal occasions, I would have left it at that. From where we what stand, it goes bad. around um, 50 to 55 feet around. That's bad. It's not that far from what you're seeing now. Shine your light up on the floor. So talk to you. Now, to you, my lovely friend, if you weren't here, I would have mentioned this. But because you are here, I have to ask. First, how long have you been on the island? Two weeks. Two weeks. In two weeks, if I spent two weeks anywhere in America's northwest, I'd have heard about the Bigfoot. If I spent two weeks in a Hispanic community, I'd have heard about the Chupacabra. I spent two weeks in Scotland, I would have heard about the Loch Ness Monster. I spent two weeks in Tibet, I would have heard about the Yeti. Now, having spent two weeks in Jamaica, how many times have you heard of the word Duffy? Not many. But you do know what a Duffy is, though. <laughs> Let's say she doesn't know. Could you two tell her what a duppy is? So what if I say to you that some persons like you have said that they have seen a duppy down here? Oh. For this one, you have to put away the cell phones. Put away the cell phones. 18, put away the cell phone. Hold that thought. <laughs> Sir, put away the cell phone, please. 18, turn off the light. Turn off that, turn off that. There's no Suit such thing as Duffy. Turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Put away the cell phone, please. Put away the cell phone because I want you to, to see your to see this with your eyes. Okay. It's 19 feet deep in the center, madam.